Uh, jina langu ni Mwalimu Bino Nyambane kutoka kitengo cha tamaduni zetu na tumeungana na makanisa tukiongozwa na Mulika Initiative from the Catholic Church tukiwekwa pamoja hapa katika St. Vincent kuongelea juu ya mambo yanayohusu jamii yetu na uongozi wa jamii wasi viongozi wasikize uongozi wa jamii kutoka kwa kila kitengo ambacho kinahusishwa na mambo ambayo yanahusu sisi kama wenyeji uongozi unahitajika kuleta watu pamoja uongozi au sababishi watu kuachana um, kwa majina naitwa Edna Atambo I'm a civil society uh, member in this community and today we are gathered here because of uh, in, in uh, partnership with the USAID Mlika initiative uh, with the KCCB and other religious organizations that are based in Kisi. So we come together as civil society organizations, the religious organizations, even uh, other stakeholders that are here to address the issues of peace and conflict that we've uh, faced recently within the county. And uh, we are calling upon each and every stakeholder, each and <coughs> upon uh, everyone around this uh, community to speak up and address so such illnesses and happenings that are, uh, do, are happening around in Kisi. Nitwa al Alhaj Ramadan Hussein. I'm a secretary of Supreme Council of Kenya Muslims katika Kisi County. Na kwa niaba ya Kisi Interfaith Network na ambao ni muungano ya makanisa ya pamoja na misikiti ya Waislamu na Wakristo katika Kisi County. Mimi nikiwa organizing secretary ya Kisi Interfaith Network. Imebidi sisi kama jamii ya wa kanisa na misikiti yani wale watu ambao tunashughulika na mambo ya kidini tuongee kuhusu amani katika kaunti yetu ya Kisi viongozi lazima watambue kwamba nafasi hiyo wamepewa na Mwenyezi Mungu na Mwenyezi Mungu amekupa nafasi ni mtiani kwa hivyo wewe unaweza kuwa leader ama unaweza kuwa misleader kwa hivyo viongozi ujiulize wewe ni leader ama wewe ni misleader. Misleader ni yule ambaye anaenda kusababisha uhasa makati ya watu. Lakini leader ni yule ambaye ataunganisha watu na ataleta amani baina ya watu. Kwa hivyo sisi tuna haja kubwa kwenu viongozi kwamba jameni amani ndio jukumu lenu kubwa collective initiative that we are advocating for peace and then uh, encouraging our leaders for dialogue encouraging the people within the community to have dialogues and conversation if there are issues that need to be addressed then they should be addressed in a amicable way than having violence that we've been experiencing so uh, we urge everyone to be part of this process and all the stakeholders and all the duty bearers the people who are mandated to enforce law and uh, adhere to the rule of law yeah. and more especially to our leaders to look into the national Uh, the national values and principles that are governing this country. Watu kupendana ndio sababu kubwa ambayo mmechaguliwa. Maendeleo ndio sababu kuwa ya kupewa nafasi hiyo. Na mkumbuke kitu kimoja. Siku ya mwisho lazima Mwenyezi Mungu atakuuliza hiyo cheo ambao mimi nilikupatia ulifanyia nini. Kama ulifanya mazuri atakulipa mazuri. Na kama ulileta uhasama na uadui baina ya watu basi hivyo hivyo Mwenyezi Mungu atakulipa katika hiyo hayo mabaya ambayo we umefanya na kuangaliana vibaya hayo ndio ambayo tumewekewa hapa kuketi na kusungumzia tunabudi kama viongozi wa kidini tuwaombe jameni kwa niaba ya watu wote sura inaonekana sura mbaya nchi nzima inaonekana watu wanajulikana kwamba hatuna amani baina yetu kwa hivyo yetu ni kuomba ndugu zangu tushikamane, tuunganishe watu, tuombeane msamaha kama tulikoseana, binadamu lazima anakosea. Na yule ambaye mzuri ni yule ambaye anarudi nyuma akaomba msamaha. Na tujue ya kwamba kuna siku ya mwisho katika hii dunia na Mwenyezi Mungu anaenda kutuuliza katika haya yote ambayo tumefanya. Discuss on how we cohesive and live with each other. This initiative from the Catholic Church and other stakeholders is to bring peace and integration 
amongst us in leadership, in community, in entangles that are facing us as a society and as a nation. And we are concerned as stakeholders in everything that is happening. Under Article 10 of the Kenyan Constitutions. Constitution, let us uphold that particular uh, article that is very key in uh, entrenching the rule of law within the society. So thank you so much, Mulika Initiative, for this moment. Thank you so much for this dialogue because it's, uh, it's an eye-opener. It's something that is bringing together everyone to be able to air their views and also implement and give new uh, ways on how we move forward in addressing some